you know, top ten opponent in Duke. But knowing Arkansas and knowing Musselman and the staff, these guys will be ready. And just on cue, Kevin Brazil knocks down the NBA. Looked like they had their best defensive effort at Princeton. But this team really loves to launch the three. And there's one on cue from Alex Williams, and he'll hit. This Arkansas team has so much depth that you'll see this starting lineup change throughout the course of the year. You know, Arkansas kind of doesn't figure out the starting lineup until almost yeah. middle way through conference. Chandler Lawson using that wingspan, but you'll see it shift. Um, Davenport getting the consecutive start. Ellis with the takeaway. Arkansas hasn't had many steals. There's Lawson. Chandler Two quick baskets for Chandler Lawson, Lawson. and he's really going to have point. Might not be the tallest, but those long arms make up for it. But tonight, yeah, he's going to be one of the big guys. Another tough three. It looked like Williams was falling out of bounds, but he set up, and there's a rebound down to Garrett Heen, who had a big game against Princeton just two days ago. That's Pegues. He had the big hit in the NCAA tournament. He reigns in a three. There's Ellis. Nice. Reverse. Great pass by Devo Davis right there. Against Duke. And must turn to his son and said he's 0 for 14. Then he got hot and had a big second half. Hawks will push here. Five on four, they'll take the three, and there's Caleb Battle. No shimmy shake yet, but a three for Caleb. And by the way, that gives him 1,000 career points. 1,000 career points, that's awesome. What a career Caleb Battle has had thus far. Boy, the Paladins love the triple. You see Tremont Mark is at the scorer's table. Haven't got to see him in a few games. Glad he's able to play. Indeed. We're going to give an update coming out of the break. There's Kayla Faddle. Good. <laughs> nice catch by Heen. And Lawson didn't block it, but he altered it. Altered shot. Hawks will push again. L. Ellis had his path cut off. Everybody feeling it right now. And Chandler Lawson carries the three. He averages seven a game. Cooper Bowser also checking in. That is a long launch from J.P. Pegues. He's hit a couple. College basketball has to offer. Makai Mitchell. Extra pass for Blocker. He's fighting okay. to the rim and scoring. Blocker, I mean. <laughs> it's Richie, I would have preferred not to play at Princeton on a Saturday and here on a Monday yeah, if I tough. could. But you can't pick the dates when a team says, we'll play you. There's Mark. That must feel good for Tremont Mark. Back like you never left. Jalen Graham also in the game. Graham with a rebound. Played two minutes the other day. Got into some foul trouble at Duke. Follows his miss. Didn't get called for the foul. And uh, we're going to play on. Mark to Mitchell. And a left-handed lay-in is good. You got to force some turnovers. And when you're not, it can really be painful. You know, to the score when you're fouling <laughs> and giving up free throws, Mark <laughs> kind of lost it. Oh, had a nice move going. Yeah, I did. I was hoping nobody would fall on him. That's enough. A corner three and a knockdown from P.J. Smith. He had six. As a, you know, a team that probably doesn't have the, the talent level, doesn't have the depth, but you can knock the three ball down. You have an opportunity. Arkansas does have the size advantage, so it doesn't surprise me to see Mitch. Mitchell jumped out on Pegues. Nice back cut. Tough maneuver and an and one opportunity for Alex Williams. Absorb it. Keep in mind, Furman is picked to win the SOCON, and in that conference is UNC Greensboro, who already has a win this year on this floor. As Makai Mitchell will score. From up. That's a Jalen Graham move right there. Graham Bass have, have played well offensively. Davenport. When he started the other day, he turned to Coach Musk before the contest, and you'll score here, and he said, you want me to let it fly? And Musk looked at him like, oh, what do I say uh, here? Just by playing harder. Davenport's going to let it fly now. A couple of twos. If you With on the drive, there's big Chandler Lawson. That's not going to work. Fans wanted to travel. Hogs will run. There's Brazil. The and the hammer. Oh, my goodness. 
you can see that one materializing. <laughs> Trevin, look, Manny, as we go to break. Hey, that's just that's just unfair basketball right there. Long wingspan <laughs> putting it down. Team in these sports, um, I, you know, I, best fans in the country. Williams will hit the three. Arkansas had a couple of big recruits. Hand off to Williams. He's been the big scorer against Lawson. They love that corner three, don't they? There's another knockdown. That's Carter Witt, his first triple. Maybe I spoke too soon. That's the eighth hit from distance for the Paladins. Yeah, anytime you're, you're pushing double-digit threes in the first half, you got to be feeling good. But, I mean, still down four. This Arkansas team, they're just so good. you got a team that you hit. shooting percentage has dropped to 37. That's a tough drive. How about a two-handed stop? Boy, Mark's had a couple of turnovers, trying to find that game speed again. Baseball pass to Williams. How about Leighton Blocker with the block? <laughs> Did you have that on your bingo card for the 6-2 point guard? I tell you. And there's a basket by Molnar, and Furman needed that one. Yeah. Blocker, so good. Debo for three. That was Blocker, rather. Yeah. Sometimes get fouls, but the other side of that is you, you force teams into turnovers. You force teams into shots that they don't want. This Caleb Paddle with the drive to the rim. He's so good and, and, and just can score at all three levels. Obviously can knock the three down with the best of them. But has an underrated quick first step. Nice pass by Witt right there. But an underrated quick first step. And he, just, he says he wears that number zero because that's how many people on this <laughs> earth can guard him. And he's showing it. Must joke the other day that he and JT Note must be related. Note <laughs> and... Uh, Caleb Battle both love to launch and score. And there's Chandler. Another non-conference battle here at Bud Walton Arena. Battle, quick first step. Down the lane. Able to lean back and score. That was nifty. The footwork. Williams defended by Brazil. Shoots a three over TV and knocks it down. Williams been able to convert and see if it, those percentages start to, to right size a little bit. There's Battle, what a quick release, and he'll bury the three-pointer, 14 for Battle in the game. Sometimes you like to think you're doing things defensively, other times you just hope with the randomness of the game that a few will not go in. Mitchell with the catch, and the score. Pegues got by Devo, but he couldn't finish at the rim. Brazil on the drive, got flipped in the air, somehow that fell through. He'll score the chance of those. Yeah, and yeah I mean, must have been, you, you would classify him as a basketball junkie. Yes. Guy that just, just loves the game. There's a knockdown from Hewitt. To me, this feels a little bit like the game Arkansas played last year with Northern Iowa. They kept hitting the threes. You're headed by Blocker. Hogs with numbers if they want to push. Tremont Mark. Pass that to Devo from point blank range. Chandler lost it. And one. And the big man has put in a dunk. As you would expect, this team's won 54 games since the start of 2021. Tremont Mark with the takeaway. Is he going to go all the way to the rim? Nice step through. And the basket. Six for Mark. And it's just great to see him back on the court. Pegues. That was a hard pass for Bowser. Hawks trying to turn a steal into offense again. Bela. I thought uh, Duke press at the end of the game, and they put Devo back in just to handle it, just yep. to calm things down. Mm -hmm. He's the guy that can just keep it. How about that step back? And there's the shimmy. Bela <laughs> <laughs> battle. He does have some. Can't play that. It's a 24-hour game. He went back and looked up the UCLA coach. Was curious about Kiki Rice. You can spot the good ones. Brazil left all open and a three for Brazil as he reaches double figures. Don't look now, Manny. This has grown to a 20-point lead, and that was a much-needed hit by Pegues. Taking a little while to get here. He open look, look and another knockdown. Yeah. Said it, then it spun out to spike. Just as you said, we gotta we gotta watch what we say. Heen has had a couple of flushes. I mean, they have an enrollment a little more than 2,000. They don't take a lot of transfers. Brazil, another block. 
They believe in recruiting freshmen, developing them, which is so counter to what so many teams now do with transfers. And quite frankly, I like it. I, I like the way they built this program. There's battle again. Now he's up to 22 as he pops in, yeah. That's a nice pass into the corner for Smith. Extra pass for Heen. We've seen him Duncan. Now we see him launch. Shot clock is inside three. Nifty move by Devo. Blocker. Beat the buzzer. Did he score? I think the officials are going to take. Blocker with the blow by. You talking about the Oscar. There it is. How about the dunk? <laughs> There's Lawson and another basket. That's 15 points for Chandler. Not a lot of guys like Devo Davis in college basketball and basketball in general. Um, so fun to. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but Geese fouled on a three point plus. Uh, a Furman team or a SOCON team could be ranked going into their conference tournament in the top 20. And then they lose that, that championship game or lose, lose in their conference semifinal. And it's all a difference between. The game clock and the shot clock, so Devo slipping and sliding. Chandler Lawson with the hammer. A 19-point performance for Big Chandler Lawson. It's a big shot here, Brett. I think Razorback fans comfortable in the fact that Devo Davis, or that's Blocker with another late dunk. I'm used to Devo putting the hammer down at the end. That was Blocker. Not another one. Arkansas with 97 points. And, Manny, they take down a pesky Furman team.